Joining me now is Emma and Felicia from the Animal Care Sanctuary. Guys, thanks so much for coming out. Thanks for having us. So tell me a little bit more about uh, Felicia's story. Um, so she came to us from U2 Animal Rescue about, I guess, just under a year now. And she was actually with U2 um, for almost a year as well. So she's been in the care of shelter staff for almost two years. Um, she's a very, very sweet cat, um, loves to be on your lap, loves to snuggle. Um, she can be pretty vocal, but for the most part, she's pretty quiet. Um, we like to give her her own space at our shelter. Um, she does have her own communal, but also loves to run around with the other cats uh, throughout the day. So as long as she's able to just kind of like keep her distance, she does fine with other cats. We don't know how she is with other dogs. Um, and then, of course, kids, uh, just if they're a little bit less rowdy is best for her. Um, but she's, um, she's sweet. She's so pretty, too. Her orange markings are really stunning. And um, when I was getting her in her crate before coming here, she all she wanted to do, to do was be on my lap. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> yeah, she's awesome. So does she have, I guess, any experience with kids or a family environment? Uh, it's really hard to say. A lot of times we don't know the history of the animals that come into our care. I was looking at her paperwork before coming here and um, it said that she was a stray. So most likely not, but at the same time, it's really hard to tell. Right, right, right. And how, again, how is she with other cats? Has there ever been any issues with other cats or? Yeah, so um, no other like, true issues, but um, like I said, she just prefers to just kind of have her own space. Um, and I think if we, like our cattery is huge. So um, when she runs around with other cats, she can, she has like multiple places where she can go to get right. away from other cats, but she does like to just kind of live in her own space, if that makes sense. So personal space would be recommended. Definitely. So turning to another thing, why should it be a priority of pet owners in the area to get their pets vaccinated for rabies? Because it's such an important issue. Yeah, no, most definitely. Um, rabies vaccine is the number one way to keep your pets protected from a rabies infection. Um, it's also mandated by law. And really, even if your pets are primarily indoors, you should still get them protected because you just never know what might happen. Um, and. Uh, it's not terribly inexpensive. Um, you can get it every one to three years. We're actually hosting a clinic in Dushore at the Agway in Dushore on the 14th of October from 12 to 4, where you can receive a rabies for um, just $10. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Okay, so very affordable. Yeah. And do you know if a lot of pet owners in the area get their pets vaccinated for rabies? I think for the most part, people do. Um, I know, I think rabies vaccine might be the one vaccine that pet owners are um, more um, educated about. There are other annual vaccines that you should get for your pets, but um, definitely rabies. I, f I feel like it's just out there that you should get your pets vaccinated for rabies. Um, but I think what might be confused is that if your pets are primarily indoors, like say like a cat that doesn't really ever leave the house, people might not see a reason to vaccinate their animals for rabies or other annual vaccines. But like I said, if a, like a rabid, like say a bat is a vector species, gets in your house, you know, hopefully not, but um, that's certainly a high risk where if your pet's not vaccinated, you could be in serious trouble. Right, and it's best to be safe than sorry, right? Definitely. No doubt. And is there any other events going on with the uh, Animal Care Sanctuary? Um, right now we're participating with the Bissell Empty the Shelters where all of our adoption fees are reduced from um, the various uh, amounts that we have down to $50 for dogs and 25 for cats. Right. All right. Well, thanks so much. Thank Appreciate you. you guys for coming out. Yeah, thank you. And if you would like to adopt Felicia or any of the other furry friends at the Animal Care Sanctuary, you can do so by calling or just stopping by. Pet of the Week is sponsored by Ferrario Jeep. 18 News at Noon will return after the break.